Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante and this is theCUBE and we're here at EMC and the Executive Briefing Center in 42 South Street in Hopkinton. EMC has a huge customer event. They've been going around the world and bringing in customers and bringing in SAP, bringing in consultants, uh, th uh, third party service providers and sharing uh, their vision of transformation with customers and collaborating with customers uh, peer to peer. And we're here with Terry Breen, who is the Senior Vice President of Global Strategic Accounts uh, at EMC, who kicked off the meeting today. Terry, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, nice so, having you here. So thank you, tell me about the event here. Um, you know, give us the, the, the lowdown, how many people, what's it all about? Well, we had about 200 customers over the last three days, and what is an opportunity for EMC with our partners being SAP, Cisco, VMware, and VCE to sit in a room with our customers and talk about how do we help our customers transform and how does the power not only of our company but all of our partners bring together capabilities, solutions, so that we can help our customers bring SAP into their business faster, more effectively, and, and actually in a lower cost. So what are the big initiatives that uh, the customers are talking about in their transformation and how are they transforming? I think there's really two. There's a lot, but I think there are two that dominate the day. I think the first one is really taking Honda to the enterprise. It's, it's a good topic, is very hot. Uh, around analytics, around SAP, it's very important. So I think that's the first one. The second one is really around taking SAP to an x86 in the cloud to really drive the operational cost of SAP down and leveraging some of the innovation that we're doing from an infrastructure perspective. So those are really the two that dominate. Now, um, talk about the role of the third party service providers. I mean, they obviously like SAP because it's a complicated environment. They've made a lot of money over the last several years. Where, how are they shifting? How are they responding to things like virtualization, to things like HANA? What's their game plan? Well, when you think about SAP, you think about these service providers. They're like they're like us. They, you know, they 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 live and die by infrastructure and, and hardware and, and software. And SAP is such a dominant piece of, of application in the enterprise space. It consumes an awful lot of service provider capabilities. So they're all looking at ways that they can build their infrastructure from a service provider perspective that optimizes the way SAP is running. We're working with the SPs to make sure our, our hardware and software supports them optimally. We team with them and then we take it to market with SAP. So th what they're doing with us is providing our, our customers with an option. Can they host it inside the customer's four walls? Perfectly fine. Can we take it outside and host it within a service provider's uh, walls? Absolutely, so we're trying to give an option to our customers. So you obviously fly around a lot, you <laughs> get global in your yeah. title, and, and um, tell me what are the main pain points and, and initiatives that you hear from customers that they're asking specifically EMC to help with? Well, I think I think the couple things they're trying to do is, is obviously we like to drive costs down. Customers are always interested in how do we optimize the, the use of, of capital. Uh, I think too what they're trying to do is figure out how do we use our technology to make their, their business more flexible, uh, make them a little more nimble in their stuff. And also they're looking at how do we not just be a company that brings pieces of technology, but how do we bring other pieces of technology from other companies and applications together so that we have solutions that address their problems. I think we've, we've gone past the day where each of us as technology companies could be in there talking to a customer only about our piece. We have to come in and say, you know, with us and other partners, we can solve, you know, a better problem for you. So that's, that's what really we're focused on. Well, and you guys have made fast friends with, uh, with SAP. I mean, Oracle's acquisi acquisition of Sun really changed that dynamic. And, and, I mean, certainly you guys are doing a lot internally at EMC IT, but <coughs> it seems like the relationship at the senior levels, uh, particularly, you know, Tucci and McDermott and, and Schnabe, but also in the, in the field and everywhere in between has really started to come together. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, and I, I would only go on a little bit on your, your uh, word on FATS. I'm not sure it's FATS. I think it's been going on for a while. I just think we continue to invest in it. And obviously, um, you know, SAP, the, the uh, alignment of their vision and their direction with us is very, very close. So we work very, very closely with us. Um, I think from an executive executive, there's a many-to-many -many relationship that we spend time. We were in down in Newtown uh, two weeks ago. Several of us, the executive level from both companies, spent an entire day together really working on those two campaigns I was talking about, one around x86 migration as well as Honda to the enterprise. So there's a lot of time being spent between the two companies, and I think you know once you start doing that, you know then results start coming out at the end of the pipe. Now talk a little bit about, about cloud. Um, you're seeing Amazon get very aggressive into the enterprise. Uh, are, uh, are CIOs, embracing the cloud, they're certainly embracing the private cloud, you know, AKA virtualization, but are they really ready to take that next step and, and go to a, a more of a, a service-led model? Are they transforming to that degree in your view? I think the answer is all over the board. However, I would say every CIO that I've interfaced with has some sort of cloud strategy. Now, now there's a, where it's all over the board is how far are they down that path? Are they, 
Are they science projecting it, or are they moving a lot of their business, or are they moving some of their business? It's all over the board. But I do think as we look down the road, my, my personal view is we will always have some architecture that's going to stay traditional. We're going to have some that's going to stay cloud but private within the four walls, and we're going to have some architecture that's going to go to the cloud and it's going to go outside public. And I think most of our customers we're going to see have all three of the checks in all three of those boxes. The, the, the distinction between companies is what percentage sits in each of the three boxes. Terry, I know you're busy and I've got to run, but thanks very much for stopping by the Cube. Really appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. All right, take care. Okay, keep watching, everybody. We'll have more from the EMC EBC. We're here at 42 South Street in Hopkinton. This is Dave Vellante. This is the Cube.